Will the graduates please stand? Introducing the graduating class from South Dakota State University. Today's graduates represent a broad range of academic disciplines, some traced to the university's earliest days, and others developed in response to the needs of the state and region. Founded in 1881 as the state's Morrill Act land-grant institution, South Dakota State University improves the quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Shakoe, an alliance that consisted of the Santee, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. The full land acknowledgement found on page 57 of your program serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to native nations indigenous to this location. Under the leadership of Provost Dennis Hedge, SDSU faculty in attendance, please stand to be recognized. Will the rest of the audience now please stand? Under the leadership of President Barry Dunn, the Platform Party is led by Honorary Marshals, Associate Dean for Research and Professor Cheng Ming Guan, and Department Head and Professor Emerita Teresa Hall. The mace, carried by Dr. Cheng Ming Guan, signifies the authority and pageantry of academic ceremonies. Honorary marshals lead the processional in recognition of distinguished service to the university. Information about today's speakers and honorary marshals is printed in the program. Cheng Ming Guan is the Associate Dean for Research in the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. He came to SDSU in 1995 and has been actively involved in research, which has been funded continuously by the National Institutes for Health for 18 years. Teresa Keyes Hall served as professor and head of the Construction and Operations Management Department since 2003. Key contributions during her time at SDSU include the development of the Master of Engineering degree program, first time accreditation for the Construction and Operations Management Department's undergraduate programs, and work on the President's Economics and Management Initiative, which developed the management core curriculum. President Dunn, Regent Brown, distinguished guests, members of the faculty, administrative leadership at the university, graduates, family and friends of the graduates, I welcome you to the 2021 commencement ceremony of South Dakota State University, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Air Force ROTC cadets and the playing of our national anthem by the symphonic band. Please remain standing until the colors are posted and the anthem is finished.
you may be seated. Please welcome the president of South Dakota State University, Barry H. Dunn. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It is my privilege to serve as the 20th president of South Dakota State University and to welcome you to the university's 135th commencement. Thank you for being part of this special day of recognition and celebration. And to add to it today, since it's Mother's Day, why don't we give a big round of applause to all of the mothers and grandmothers who are with us today. Happy Mother's Day. More than 1,700 students have completed degree requirements during the spring semester, bringing the total number of undergraduate and graduate degrees conferred this academic year to more than 2,900. This afternoon's ceremony is for students receiving associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees from the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering, and the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. As you can imagine, an event like this relies on the collaboration and efforts of many people. So I'd like to briefly recognize a few of them now. The Joint ROTC Color Guard, our admissions ambassadors and SDSU staff who served as ushers and greeters today. The symphonic band under the direction of Jacob Wallace, assistant professor of music, and Kevin Kessler, director of athletic bands. I would also like to thank the staff of facilities and services that prepared the college green for today's ceremonies. It looks beautiful and it was an enormous amount of work. Thank you guys. Please help me in thanking them for their contributions to this very special day. I also want to thank our honorary marshals who were introduced earlier, Xiaoming Guan and Dr. Teresa Keys Hall. Would you please stand? Please join me in recognizing, recognizing them as well. It is now my pleasure to introduce those members of the platform party participating in today's ceremony who will not be introduced later in the program. Vice President for Research and Economic Development, Daniel Scholl. Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Sciences, John Killifer. Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Lynn Sargent. Dean of the College of Education and Human Sciences, Jill Thorngren. Dean of the College of Natural Sciences, Charlene Wolf Hall. Dean of the College of Nursing, Mary Ann Krogh. Dean of the Van D. and Barbara B. Fishback Honors College, Rebecca Bott Knudsen. And Director of the Graduate School, Nicole Lounsbury. Thank you for being part of today's celebration. I also would like to recognize and thank all the parents and friends and loved ones who are here to share this special day with our graduates. You have provided your support and encouragement in countless ways over these past years. Members of the graduating class of 2021, please rise and recognize and thank your parents, friends, and loved ones for their support with a round of applause. Let them know how much you appreciate them. The university takes pride in all of its graduates, but faculty and administrators take special pride in those who have achieved high levels of academic excellence. I welcome to the podium Provost Dennis Hedge, who will recognize those students graduating with academic honors. Provost Hedge. Thank you, President Dunn. Earning a degree takes hard work and commitment. A special group of graduates deserve extra recognition today. These students have reached the highest levels of academic achievement. 
The program notes those members of this year's undergraduate class whose academic achievements have earned them the distinction of graduating with honors, as well as those who are graduating from the Fishback Honors College. In addition, South Dakota State University initiates students into the National Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Members are elected from every branch of the arts, sciences, humanities, and the professional colleges. Only those in the top 10% of their class are eligible for election to Phi Kappa Phi. This afternoon, we recognize those who have achieved this high scholastic record. Will all graduates who are graduating with honors, those graduating with Honors College Distinction, and those who have joined Phi Kappa Phi, please stand so that you may be recognized. Please stand. Thank you. And now I'm pleased to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Jason Hofschild with Air Force ROTC and Lieutenant Colonel Jason Ketwig with Army ROTC. They will recognize the candidates for commissions. It's my honor to recognize three graduates who will be transitioning to the active duty Air Force as second lieutenants. Gavin Doring, Derek Tim, and Benjamin Williams. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to announce the newly commissioned second lieutenants into the United States Army from the College of Engineering, Pharmacy, and Allied Health Professionals. Second Lieutenant Kyle Hartsey and Second Lieutenant Landon Lieberman. Thank you. Andy Fulberg is a 1999 graduate of South Dakota State University and is president and CEO of South Dakota State University Alumni Association. Ms. Fulberg will bring greetings to the graduates as they transition from students to alumni. Andy? Thank you, President Dunn. Good afternoon, graduates. It is an honor to be with you here today and officially welcome you as you join over 95,000 individuals who have graduated from this institution. Your hard work and achievements have led you to this day, and we are very proud to have you as part of a growing alumni family. Today, you ring the bell for the yellow and blue as you enter the next phase of your life as a Jackrabbit. We at the South Dakota State University Alumni Association are excited to welcome you to the alumni ranks as you join a growing list of staters who continue to lead their chosen industries and communities. This is a very special place. The people here have prepared you to do great things and we can't wait to hear about them. When many of you arrived on this campus as freshmen just a few years ago, you attended fall convocation. At this event, you were given a unique coin. On the coin are the words, once a student, forever an alum. You are then encouraged to use that coin to make a wish for your college career. Today, we'd like to think that you received that wish and in your packet, you will find that coin. We promised that we would return that coin to you and today we fulfill that promise. And obviously, it's the exact same coin. As you walk across this stage, you will be closing a chapter of your life. But at the same time, you will be opening another as you leave this place as a student, remember that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you will always be a member of the South Dakota State University family. We at the Alumni Association are very proud of you and look forward to helping you stay connected to your alma mater and hope you will visit often. I would now ask that all alumni in the audience, faculty and staff, to please stand and greet the newest members of the alumni family. Today and forevermore, you are Jackrabbits. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you, Andy. Vice President for Student Affairs, Michaela Willis, will now introduce this year's graduating student speaker. Vice President Willis. Thank you, President Dunn. 
An important and traditional part of our commencement ceremonies is an opportunity for the mem a member of the graduating class to address the gathering. It is my privilege to introduce this year's commencement speaker. Gavin Doring graduates today with degrees in mathematics and data science with minors in statistics and aerospace studies. At State, Gavin has been involved in the US Air Force ROTC, Valor Bible Study, the SDSU Women's Basketball Practice Team, Arnold Air Society, and Intramural Sports. As the Cadet Wing Commander, he organized operations and with his team created a digitized continuity system that will provide the baseline for future operations. In summer 2019, he completed field training as a distinguished graduate, finishing in the top 10% of all cadets. He will be commissioned an officer and attend pilot training in the hopes of flying C-17s. Please join me in welcoming Gavin Doring. Thank you, Vice President Willis, for the introduction. I would like to begin by thanking the faculty for their countless hours in service, getting us to the point we are at today. I would also like to thank the people that worked tirelessly to ensure that we were able to have a graduation ceremony. And lastly, thank you to the friends and family for showing up today to celebrate this momentous occasion. Excuse me, excuse me, professor? Yeah, over here. When are we ever going to use this? This question probably just sent a cold shiver of fear down many of the spines of the professors seated here today. It's a question they hoped not to hear each and every time a student raised their hand. This question has also, more than likely, aggravated many of you during caffeine and adrenaline-fueled midnight study sessions. Mostly the question was used to joke with professors or potentially distract them from a particularly complicated topic. But did you ever consider it seriously? Have you ever sat back and reflected on the lessons you learned in school and when you are ever going to get to use them? If you are sitting here today and think the only thing that you have now is the world's most expensive piece of paper, I can tell you with confidence that you have so much more. The lessons from South Dakota State that we have received and absorbed reach far beyond even the most frustrating classroom topics. With that in mind, go with me on a quick journey. It's freshman year, move-in day. Chaos, right? But let's start before the madness erupts. You are on your way and have all your life in the trunk of your car your back seat, your passenger seat, and possibly even your lap. A mixture of excitement and nerves are raging in your stomach. If you're anything like me, you spent the journey to moving in game planning how to get all those belongings into your dorm room in three trips or less. Enthusiastic pe people in matching t-shirts with rolls of stickers our muscling couches and furniture of all shapes and sizes up the stairs. Parking, it's pretty tough to come by as someone thought it was necessary to bring a 20-foot trailer, park it across six spots. You know who you are. For the engineers in the audience, you probably spent some time drawing up blueprints of the most space-efficient way to arrange your dorm room. As things begin to settle down, you experience a significant change. You are officially on your own. Nothing made that more apparent than the first trip to Walmart in a sea of wandering college students, wondering just how much food they could fit into their dorm fridge. From that day forward, it was up to you to make the journey through college. Your parents were not there to cook your food, remind you to do your homework, 
or even clean your laundry. Although they probably did many loads when you visited on the weekend. You learned how to become independent. South Dakota State has been your home for the biggest periods of growth in your life. The person that stepped into that dorm room as a freshman is not the same person that will be walking across the stage today as a college graduate. You have learned lessons about money, friendship, education, politics, and getting dressed in under 30 seconds because you woke up late for a 6.30 a.m. math exam. Sometimes I think they scheduled the test at that time for that lesson alone, since there's seemingly no other benefit to trying to do math at that hour. You have made friends that will be by your side for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. While on your journey, many problems have arisen, and you have managed to find solutions and live with the consequences. With each one of these problems, you have learned to make decisions, both in life and in school. Whether it was deciding that you needed to reevaluate your career choice or that C is always the best answer, it has forced you to grow as a person and as a student. Not only as have you grown as an individual during school, but you have seen the world grow and change around you. We had a front row seat to watching the leaders of the world handle a crisis on a scale that this generation has never seen before. Some of you may have even decided to take matters into your own hands by standing up for what you believed in and getting involved in one of several activism movements from the past year. Whether we agreed or disagreed with what unfolded, we developed leadership and followership traits in our own lives. We got to see how lives could be affected by politics. The immense value of going to school and absorbing these lessons was suddenly very real as people lost their careers and income. The simple fact of the matter is that we have changed. In math, and I really hope to be the only speech that uses those words this weekend, one thing that we talk about is having a toolbox for working with data sets. We need to know many different methods to work with data, which we called our tools. We use the tools that we have in order to solve our problems and answer questions that we had about the data. Consider the toolbox that you began college with. You have continued adding tools into that box that are going to help you solve many different and complex problems in your life. The toolbox you have now is ready to take on what I like to call real life. So, as you spend time reflecting today on the lessons and growth you have received from college, ask yourself that dreaded question, when am I ever going to use this? As we have reflected on today, the answer is likely every single day for the rest of your life. And that is worth way more than the world's most expensive piece of paper. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. You had me worried for a minute, but it was a great speech. Thank you. I am pleased to invite the Honorable Brock Brown of the South Dakota Board of Regents to the podium to authorize the conferral of degrees. Regent Brown. Thank you, President Dunn. Graduates, it is my honor as the lone student regent and a jackrabbit myself to congratulate you on your achievements from the Board of Regents. You know, over this last year, you were sent home to do online classes, and as a history student, I can only imagine how difficult an engineering or pharmacy class would be to do over Zoom. So I applaud you for your achievement here today. And now, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, I hereby delegate to President Barry Dunn the right to confer diplomas to all deserving graduates here today for SDSU's Spring Commencement 2021 with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations.
Thank you, Regent Brown. If you don't know, Regent Brown is a student at SDSU, and we are very, very proud of his service and commitment to higher education. Thank you. The candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degrees will be presented by Associate Professor and President of the Faculty Senate, Dr. Jen Anderson. Dr. Anderson? Yeah. Do you mind leaving? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dunn. The students whose names appear in the printed program for this commencement have been approved by the South Dakota Board of Regents to receive their respective associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees upon satisfactory completion of the degree requirements. The highest earned academic degree is that of Doctor of Philosophy. Generally, five years beyond the bachelor's degree is necessary to complete PhD requirements. Formal coursework and seminars are a part of this degree. And in addition, the successful candidates extend the limits of knowledge of society by presenting the results of original research that has stood the test of their academic superiors. President Dunn, we have 17 candidates in attendance who have accomplished this and have satisfied the graduate faculty that they are worthy recipients of this degree. The titles of their research are printed in the program. I take pleasure in presenting these individuals so that you may confer upon them the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Regents of Higher Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please proceed to the stage? The candidates will be announced by Toby Euchre, Dean of Students. Dr. Philip Adelikwu, Civil Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Suzette Burkhard. Dr. Ali Mohammed Al Subai, Civil Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Suzette Burkhard. Dr. Madeline Osdemore, Computational Science and Statistics. Advisor, Dr. Kurt Cogswell. Dr. Arun Bawa, Agricultural Biosystems and Mechanical Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Sandeep Kumar. Dr. Ke Chen, Electrical Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Yue Zhao and Dr. Chiquan Chao. Dr. Ahmed El Magrus, Electrical Engineering. Dr. Chiquan Chao. Dr. Jesse Hendricks, Computational Science and Statistics. Advisor, Dr. Christopher Saunders. Dr. Yue Huang, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Chaoming Guan. Dr. Abdul Aziz Kuanda, Civil Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Gonghui Hua. Dr. Shun Lu, Agricultural Biosystems and Mechanical Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Zhengrong Gu. Dr. Angelina Rossio, Civil Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Suzette Burkhard. Dr. Khan Reza, Electrical Engineering. Advisors, Dr. Yue Chao and Dr. Chiquan Chao. Dr. Partha Saha, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Wengfeng An. Dr. Sadia Salam, Agricultural Biosystems and Mechanical Engineering. Advisor, Dr. Rachel McDaniel. Dr. Ranjini Shunkurnarayanan. 
Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Jayarama Bhat Gunaje. Dr. Shengeng Wang, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Advisor, Dr. Chaoming Guan. Thank you. We will now award the Doctor of Pharmacy degrees. The Regents of the State of South Dakota have authorized South Dakota State University to offer studies leading to the professional degree of Doctor of Pharmacy. Dean Dan Hansen of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions will present the candidates for the degree. Thank you, President Dunn. Will the candidates for the professional Doctor of Pharmacy please stand? President Dunn, these students have completed six years of intensive professional education and are well prepared to use their knowledge and expertise to deliver pharmaceutical care for the benefit of their patients in the state and nations. These individuals were awarded their hoods at a special ceremony earlier this weekend. I take pleasure in presenting them in order that you may confer upon them the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. By the virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Regents of Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will those who have earned this degree present themselves to the stage for recognition? Dr. Bright Amusu. Dr. Alyssa Beshi. Dr. Catherine Brummels. Dr. Hannah Christensen. Dr. Nicholas Cook. Dr. Colton Cunning. Dr. Sean Curley. Dr. Emily Davison. Dr. Ahn Doe. Dr. Lauren Dolly. Dr. Khalil Ford. Dr. Anthony Fontalakis. Dr. Samantha Franzoy. Dr. Ashley Golden. Dr. Seth Golden. Dr. Natalie Gray. Dr. Kathleen Greblinghoff. Dr. Elizabeth Hansman. Dr. Kyle Hess. Dr. Sidney Hirschkorn. Dr. Kalen Hookstein. Dr. Ellen Holterstrom. Dr. Whitney Hutchinson. Dr. Michaela Jacobson. Dr. Rachel Johnson. Dr. Robert Juniman. Dr. Sarah Jungers. Dr. Mary Kading. Dr. Chase Kern. Dr. Joseph Karyakos. Dr. Abigail Knapp. Dr. Kayla Kniefel. 
Dr. Robert Kranz. Dr. Kayla Keen. Dr. Alexandra Lackness. Dr. Anna Lang. Dr. Abby Lingle. Dr. Faith Mildenberger. Dr. Lucas Mitzel. Dr. Chelsea Morkin. Dr. Lindsay Neuenhaus. Dr. Christopher Nguyen. Dr. Alexandra Noble. Dr. Micah Olson. Dr. Brady Peterson. Dr. Dr. Rachel Probst. Dr. Jenna Raythert. Dr. Addison Rosa. Dr. Chirsten Sankey. Dr. Kelly Semerod. Dr. Abigail Shurik. Dr. Samantha Smith. Dr. Natalie Sovel. Dr. Mackenzie Steckel. Dr. Joshua Thurow. Dr. Colton Trowbridge. Dr. Nathan Tweeten. Dr. Jenna Van Beek. Dr. Arthur Volkatrub. Dr. Shelby Vosberg. Dr. Tristan Weasler. Dr. Drew Diedrich. Dr. Michael Carlson. Dr. Jacob DeYoung. We will now award master's degrees. Will the candidates, candidates for the master's degrees please stand? Will those who are candidates for the Master of Public Health please present themselves to the stage for recognition? President Dunn, these graduates have completed the requirements to serve as public health administrators, practitioners, researchers, and leaders who can address the public health needs of America and beyond. You notice. <laughs> Autumn Cogdall. Ashley Gustafson. Taryn Hinkst. Whitney Keller. Kirsty Conold, Brooke Templeton, Courtney Young,
Dean Bruce Berdanier will, Berdanier will introduce the graduates from the Jerome J. College of Engineering. Will those candidates for the Master of Science and the Master of Engineering please present themselves to the stage for recognition? President Dunn, upon satisfactory completion of the graduate faculty requirements in the College of Engineering for their respective degrees, these candidates will have demonstrated competency to serve society in their chosen fields. Mohammed Abdallah. Samuel Ajayi. Hassam Al Sakoub, <laughs> Kenneth Anan, <laughs> Patra Akea, <laughs> Amin Babol, <laughs> Ahmed Barashid. Cole Brown, Manisha Das Chaiti, Juliana Faharda Rueda, Matthew Fitzgerald, Ryan Fouts, Colin Hart. Melissa Heerman. <laughs> Yujiang Zhang. Gunnar Kern. Samir Keshavan. Niha Kadka. Prasanna Kakurel, Ty Klinert, Nicole Kneip, Rosanna Novellino Suarez, Junaid Ahmed, Nithin Tathanini. Mohammed Mahi Udin, <laughs> Zengwe Wang, <laughs> Allison Ponsolet, <laughs> Richard Akwa Sapong, We will now award bachelor's and associate's degrees. Will the candidates for the bachelor's and associate's degrees please stand? By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Board of Regents of Higher Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Science and Associate of Science in your chosen field upon satisfactory completion of the degree requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates for these degrees will now present themselves to the stage for recognition. You will come forward by college and be congratulated by the dean of your college. Those of you waiting for your college to be called, please be seated. Individual graduates will be announced by Toby Euchre, Dean of Students. President Dunn, the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions prepares pharmacy, medical laboratory science, and respiratory care graduates with the knowledge, skills, 
and abilities to provide high quality patient care. These graduates have demonstrated their expertise of the pharmaceutical and medical laboratory sciences and respiratory care and are prepared to pursue opportunities where they will improve the health of people throughout our state, nation, and world. Dawson Anderson. Zachary Bindi. Josie Blasius. Jack Brugentis. Carly Campbell. Landon Sarda. Abby Cleveland. Ryan Collins. Brittany Franken. Emma Germanson. Kaylee Granham. Rebecca Handley. Megan Hardy. Sydney House. Caitlin Jackson. Hannah Juracek. Shannon Katz. Jensen Kiso. Jordan Kimball. Autumn Clout. Grant Kolb. Nicole Krebs. Carly Krogman. Ashley Lacey. Sydney Lee. Jessica Lupkus. Abby Mathiason. Haley Mendel. Reese Mimak. Tiffany Nguyen. Lachan Olson. Josie Poppins. Cody Radke. Zoe Shogren. Annika Skog. Ashton Smith. Emma Smith. Songho Song. Peter Stoffel. Madison Stiles. Casey Teagan. Timothy Travis. Madeline Weber. Shay Wilson. Jenny Blue. Kristen Carson. Haley German. Haley Gossen. Alex Lang. Matthew Larson. 
Jacqueline Martinez Olarte. Emily Mouse. Cassie Renfeld. Reese Simons. Luke Vanderbeek. Austin Venard. Michaela Wacklin. Hannah Olson. Christine Zalar. Alyssa Badger. Gladys Diaz Almendarez. Grace Fields. Jessica Franco Baltazar. Dalton Javner. Blair Pekelder. Jasmine Thompson. Thank you, Dean Hansen. Bruce Berdanier, Dean of the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering, will introduce the graduates of the College of Engineering. President Dunn, the following graduates are prepared to improve our lives by helping solve society's most challenging problems in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Wyatt Ewing. Logan Kolb. Abdulaziz Albadana. Nicholas Anthony. Enoch Bonza. Cole Bungarden. Landon Busey. Samuel Kaba. Justin Goosen. Caitlin Haig. Matthew Hikens. Vani Jane. Muhammad Jamshir. Dalton Kosek. Thomas Lindstrom. Christopher Mulholland. Jordan Odegaard. Tiwanka Pitiwila Lianage. Cade Schonauer. Elizabeth Sabania. Lucas Waletsko. Brandon Wartner. Kyle Widenschittel. Marielle Yumba. Riley Hoffman. Akil Jane. Avery Lee. Amanda Lewandowski. 
Justin Marsland. Christian Molbach. Brady Mao. Pectra Nom. Andrew Norwick. Brian Ratchel. Reshma Fapa. Tucker Troyer. Thomas Bean. Cole DeBerg. Zachary Fendrick. Hunter Fergan. David Ferrier. Seth Guyman. Garrett Holand. Hunter Jorgensen. Landon Laberman. Bradley Merriman. Blair Mulholland. Jesse Peterson. Hayden Powers. Faith Shoemaker. Daniel Woodward. Clayton Zeller. Dylan Borkert. Jacob Leister. Patrick Platt. Bradley Struck. Adioje Awoyemi. Mark Belisario. Jonathan Birch. Jacob Dami. Alexander Andreessen. Kelby Escobin. Alexander Fegan. Cody Gray. Garrison Gross. Tyler Hall. Andrew Henshaw. Isaac Kasky. Matthew Laferman. Nicholas Mahowald. Dylan Orth. Joel Quanbeck. Matthew Stoll. Nathan Sidow. Jacob Wally. Alexander Weber. Kyle Wire. Jack Winter. Turkey Al Shahrani. Jennifer Haddon. 
Colin Hansen. Nicholas Helgett. Sanmati Jain. Janie Anderson. Andrew Breitzman. Carrie Brooker. Maria Curry. Gavin Doring. Richard Fisher. Margaret Germanson. Clarissa Geifer. Mackenzie Hochhalter. Musharraf Hossein. Kaylee Johnson. Ryan Cook. Margaret Koch. Stephanie Leibel. Emily Long. Jeffrey McKee. Stephanie Nelson. Maggie Peterson. Benjamin Pond. Logan Prius. Marissa Schultz. Dinifi Siriwardana Patheranage. Garrett Spindler. Yirong Wang. Peyton Wonderlich. Daria Yaklovala. Jerica Zemlika. Tyler Zuschlag. Oluwanefemi Adibanjo. William Bierschbach. Cody Blocker. Cody Coulter. Matthew Dentlinger. Denner Dougherty. Isaiah Dume. Dylan Erickson. Cole Ethan. Jaden Even. Megan Fiala. Edmund Geifer. Jocelyn Gonzalez. Cody Gravenhoff. Joshua Gross. Jenna Harrison. Nicholas Heinrichs. Marco Hernandez. Braden Hunt. Logan Hunt. 
Ashley Jorgensen. Robert Kannengeiter. Sajan Karki. Mustafa Khalifa. Anton Cleave. Taylor Knight. Logan Landsman. Noah Lenka. Jared Lindgren. Matthew Lipinski. Jordan Light. Thomas Martinson. Dylan McMahon. Jared Miller. Seifeldin Musa. Jacob Moraz. Adam Nelson. Thomas Noose. Timothy O'Brien. Jordan Orth. Gabriel Peters. Whitney Schaefer. Jairam Shrestha. James Smith. Evan Steers. Tyler Stoltenberg. Derek Tim. Benjamin Wagner. Luke Wesley. Benjamin Williams. Henry Camp. Eric Heim. Trent Jensen. Wyatt Kurtz. Cody Mathewitz. Colin Tanner. Marshall Zachman. Joshua Bailey. Braden Paulson. Jafar Yusuf Ali. Daniel Larson. Jesse Spear. Kristen Albrecht. Now, as a part of true Jackrabbit celebration, please join the symphonic band in the playing of Ring the Bell, our fight song. Words can be found on the back of your program.
And now we've come to the central moment of the ceremony. If you have not already done so, I invite each graduate to move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left side, showing that you have officially graduated from South Dakota State University. Audience, please stand and join me in congratulating the graduates. Thank you all for coming this afternoon. It's been a real pleasure to, to preside this afternoon. Graduates, you, you have now earned your degree. You have realized your dream. Let your imagination help you pursue an exciting future. And may your time as a jackrabbit serve you well on your road ahead. Congratulations. The 2021 commencement ceremony for South Dakota State University is now adjourned. Congratulations. <laughs>